Mamune Sano is a documentary film director from Bobo Di Lasso, Burkina Faso, Second City. In 2019, he made a film which is to be screened at the Pan-African Film and Television Festival of Ouagadougou, or Fespaco, which begins on Saturday. Night Nursery follows the story of an older woman who runs a nighttime home for sex workers' children in Bobo Di Lasso. Sanu says he wants Night Nursery to humanise sex workers. The idea for me is to show another image of these sex workers, which is very rarely seen. I know that here at home and in the rest of Africa, this profession is frowned upon, but it is also the oldest profession in the world. When we see these girls, people say they are bad people because they are sex workers. Fez Paco has been running since 1969, and this year will feature films from around 30 African countries in its official selection. Cinema professionals and cinephiles travel from all over Africa and beyond to attend. FESPACO is one of the biggest African film festivals, and for me to be selected and represent Burkina Faso in the documentary film section will mean this film will be seen by the whole world, not just Africans. The director of FESPACO says that this year the event will also host the African international film and TV market, known as MICA, for the first time. Because this year the MICA will be held here at FESPACO, we have invited platform leaders. I prefer not to mention names who will come to Wagadogio to find new projects that are in post-production and also films that are already finished but not scheduled for FESPACO so that they can fit their platforms. Last year, FESPACO, which usually happens every two years, was cancelled due to COVID-19. Burkina Faso is also in the midst of a conflict with terror groups linked to Islamic State and Al-Qaeda. Burkina Faso's culture minister says it's important the festival goes ahead anyway. It is a challenge for the Burkinabe to continue to be able to revive this Africa cinema every two years, which is the cinema through which we can see the vision of Africans and the people who live on this continent. And I believe that all those who preceded me made sure that this cinema and all those who lived here in Burkina Faso found a common point of the African people. As for Sanu, he's hoping Night Nursery could receive an award and the recognition it needs to win a wide audience. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Wagadougou, Burkina Faso.